This is a bronze metal gums book and this is the story of that hunt. I'll show you what gear I used, how I prepared and of course I will give you expert tips. This is the final preparation for Croatia. Where they don't allow silencers. I just have to reset the rifle. Okay. So that was one shooter error. And we are now zero that 118 without a silencer. Now we have the new Optima 40. We're just going to shoot a group here and see what that does to the point of impact. It's going to change. We're just going to measure how much. That's without silencer and that's with a silencer. Because I'm going on a second trip where I will be using a silencer and I'm not sure that I will be able to go to the range and check zero once more. So that's a 10 centimeter drop with and without a silencer. Now, the shooting wasn't top notch today, but that's a 10 centimeter difference shooting with or without the silencer. Now, it is important to understand that you will have a point of impact change when you take it off, but it's absolutely repeatable when you take it on and off. Another adventure for the Kiplauf inbound, and we'll be shooting Chamois. This episode contains sponsored items. Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. So I'm in Croatia now, planting chamois. And the weather forecast isn't too good. It's not in my favor. Everything is grey and dull, which makes spotting from a distance very difficult. And the drifting mist doesn't help either. And I need to go up where the chamois are, which is in the fog. But you know, if I stay at the house, I am guaranteed not to get anything. So, let's make the best of it.
I think I'll have to try and dive under the fog somewhere because visibility here is maybe 20 meters. Not really possible to do anything here. I mean, there's no point in using the binoculars because I really can't see anything. So we're underneath the hill now and the fog is rolling in and basically the only thing going for us is that the wind is making quite a lot of noise. So we'll go up and see if we can see something. So I found a chamois <laughs> and it's not even funny how difficult spot he is in. On the ridge there, approximately a thousand out and you could see the contrast as it was walking over the white rocks. So that's going to be difficult but we'll go for him and if we find something else on the way we'll have a look at that as well. Biggest can't be juices in this weather. So I am about 500 underneath the top now, but the wind is really swirling down here. So I'm not really sure what to do. Ten side, and that should be good for wind. But right here I have the wind straight in my face going up the hill. I can't really see enough movement, so it's blowing straight up to where he is. Although it's moving right to left when you look at the clouds and also being pushed up here. So it's really, the wind is really swirling inside this mountain bowl. So <laughs> if the approach wasn't difficult enough. Anyway, I cannot go that way, that will guarantee to wind him. I will have to go this way and see if I can work around him. It's not a very high chance to get up there and shoot that from what. But we'll try. More fog. I think we'll call this a day and start going back home. Visibility is disappearing fast now. Okay.
from what? So today's task is uh, reassembling the rifle and uh, see how well it holds the sidle. It's one thing to trust the system and it's another thing to verify that it actually works. And sadly, Croatia doesn't allow silencers, so we have to do this test without silencers. And we are building the grip, trigger finger first, folding the hand in, putting the thumb where it needs to go. Perfect. So that's uh, perfect for elevation. I have the bullet on the left hand side of the target. So we're going to move the zero one click to the right and the deviation will be something less than one centimeter. I can't say I'm too fond of taking off the scope and packing it in a case like this, but apparently it works. So this is just more of the same, 410, taking the rifle completely apart, putting it back together, and two center hits. I didn't really film it today, but that's because today was more about getting ready for the hunt. We'll try again for the buck today. He's up on that hill, that's where he lives. But <laughs> it's a complex piece of terrain, so I'm not sure if we're going to get him. Also, the rain has been terrible today, so I've stripped off everything that will be killed by the water. So I'm afraid the film quality for today will be not as good as it should be. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, see you later. See you later. Good luck. Good luck. So I'm finding them just fine. The problem is they are a thousand meters above me. And it's going to be really difficult to get into that. So they give a good contrast on these mountains, you know, the dark fields. But when they are in the forest in front of me, I just need to be lucky to be able to see them. But the weather turned out to be significantly better than the forecast was. So we're going to take off some equipment here and uh, have the equipment a little bit more ready, especially the rifle, which now has a protective cover that needs to go off. Now, the wind is all wrong for my original plan. So I'll just pack up here and up. They run up to that mountain. I have about one hour to get there. Which means I will have to be quick. That is why I wear these mountain running pants underneath, so I can change speed without sweating too much.
you got to be kidding me. The chamois came out on the ridge where I was sitting. So there's actually a chamois on the ridge I just left. Uh, 25 minutes of sweaty work getting the wind. I guess that's an oops. This is the top right here. Let's see if there is anything over here. That was success in the last possible minutes. I can see it in the binoculars, so we just had to hurry over, start a long trek home. I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret the decision of shooting that chamois here because this is steep country. Okay, let's go. There it is. Hmm, get down without dying. Nice buck, at least it's nice for me. That's a shot there. Right behind the shoulder.
just have to let that guys know I'm okay. Let's uh, try and open him up as fast as possible and get him out of here. And then we use these zip ties. And we stitch it back together. Okay, so that's done. Now it's a few hours of regret that I actually shot him. Alpine slings, 120, one around the animal, one around your chest. And also to protect the hands. This way you have a chance of getting down without scratching your hands to pieces. Before you start, make sure that everything is locked tight. And also for valuable gear, loops like this. Thread it through your webbing. Now there is a very low chance of losing it in the dark. Another three hours trying to get down. Yeah, let's get to it. Fuck's sake! Where are you? Can't see you. Fucking hell. Great to see you. Thank you for that experience. <laughs> Some experience, huh? Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.